Why should you fix Aki? She has a few things going for her. Amazing fireball paired with a good drive rush, anti-zoning tools such as Cruel Fate, which gives you a combo on hit and is plus on block for a mix-up, and Snake Step, which also low profiles and avoids projectiles. And she has a decent mix-up with her Sinister Slide safe on block heal strike and command grab mix-up. In this video, we'll go over some Aki gameplay and why I think she might shake up the meta of Street Fighter VI. Let's take a look at what Aki's basic gameplay looks like. All right, so this is the start of my Road to Masters with Aki. Of course, this is like my hour two Aki, but I just kind of want to show you guys a basic game plan with this character, which is basically throw a fireball and go in behind the fireball. Also, don't mind the mod. <laughs> But yeah, throw a fireball and then you're is this seriously is like one of the best fireballs in the game. Unfortunately, you only have one speed of the fireball, but that speed is fine because you basically just you could throw the fireball and then drive rush behind it. And you have some pretty good options uh, with drive rush, right? Um, that is me doing the uh, the plus on block stabby move. And the non EX version, you do have to aim, and so uh, again, not very good at aiming it, and I just whiffed. But yeah, go back to the basic game plan of throw a fireball. I mean, this is like better than Chun's fireball because it goes full screen, right? So like they can't just walk back. Uh, one of the disadvantages Aki has is she doesn't have like a true reversal. So like if people jump over the fireball, it's a little harder for you to stop than let's say Guile or let's say Ryu because they can just DP the, the late jump-ins that they, they recover from, but Aki doesn't really have that. You have to anti her normals. And like her anti, her normal anti are quite good, but they don't have invisibility, so. Oh, <laughs> I tried copying Goichi. I saw Goichi do that in a replay. So there's three different versions of that super and I did the close one. The far one would have punched the fireball. Not my brightest moment there. But yeah. Throw fireball, drive rush. You get pretty good drive rush Oki off the throw too. Yeah, very good, very good check from the Chun. Your jab confirms are pretty good. I really like, like the fact that all the jab confirms go into poison and you get like a pretty decent mix up and a knockdown, which is like really strong. Kimberly doesn't quite get as strong of a knockdown off of jabs per se. So that feels really good. And I think ideally what I'm actually going for here is like a drive rush mix up because you can get like a drive rush overhead, drive rush low, that sort of thing here, instead of going, that safe jumps, but like only if they, only if they uh, back tech. That, her sweep is crouch heavy punch, and that's what that was. It's, if, it's like a very weird normal to hit. It's like her heavy kicks and heavy punches are swapped. Uh, it takes a little getting used to. But yeah, that's the plus on block move. <laughs> that move's really good, but like obviously you can react to it. Aki does have a reversal, it's this EX snake step. Uh, it's pretty good. The issue is it kind of loses, it loses the throw, right? And it sort of loses the shimmy. There's probably like, I think if you shimmy and you react properly, you can probably uh, do it. I'm just dancing around with that move. That move's kind of funny. I think it's gonna be a while before people uh, learn to stop that move appropriately. All right, so throw a fireball, <laughs> just walk in. Yeah, that fireball is so good. And then, yeah, you just play the strike throw shimmy game, right? That stand heavy kick is a very good shimmy normal. And yeah, you go into super and get the dub. This super is super sick, by the way. But yeah, so a couple things I was talking about. This stabby move, quarter circle back kick, which feels really weird, by the way. <laughs> like a stabby move that uses punches, a, a bound to kick, not really sure. But you have three different versions and you can kind of aim it. This move is definitely a scrub killer because you get a combo on hit and you think like, oh, like it's like Ken's Dragon Lash, I can just DI. But if you DI early, actually you can DI this. But it's just like, it's really inconsistent, right? I guess if you're like perfectly spaced at this range, like you can just make it whiff, right? And get a full punish anyways. Yeah, I'm not quite sure the best way to deal with that. Probably anti if your like reactions are really on point, but it can be a little tough, especially with like all the other stuff that Aki has to deal with. So I guess it's like ideally you're just trying to anti it on reaction because you like it's a punish counter and you can get you can get crazy damage. Unfortunately, I thought what you could do is like bait the anti and then go for like a punish counter. So 
but like you see how slow that recovers <laughs> so you can't really do that so it's more of like mostly just a reaction tech slash mental stack them as opposed to like being able to weave in and out and, and bait their entire uh, which is unfortunate i thought that'd be really cool her cancel options are just really really good right so you have many different things you can cancel into uh, you can cancel into this fireball which is like if you space it right you see it's plus on block that was like plus six that's just like kind of crazy which means like you could do this and then you could just like drive rush back in this into the heavy version which like if you're closer this is only minus four no one's punishing that um and then you can like just go for a mix-up right so you can like go into the stance and you can go into that which is only minus three on block which means it's safe or you can just go into the throw uh, so I really like her cancel options. I think she's gonna have a lot of freedom and like conditioning you to block and then, you know, get this command throw in. So as of this recording, Guichi is the top Aki on CFN. So let's uh, let's take a look at a couple of his replays. See what he's cooking up. Yeah, I watched a little bit of um, Guichi before. Again, same kind of basic game plan. Throw the fireball, go in, and then do good mix up, right? Again, that move is gonna that's that's the weak one move. The the weak one scrub killer right there. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Just go in the drive rush and then go for whatever mix up you want. You can go she has a command overhead, so you can go overhead low, or you can just try to be like DP like Goichi did. You have very good jump ins, by the way. Yeah, that's the that plus on block move. I the other thing I like about this plus on block move is that you see the spacing it ends up. You can't really like just go for a throw. You have to like kind of check with a jab. <laughs> His fireball is so good. It's like Gal's late sonic boom, but you don't have to charge for it. Yeah, this this fireball is actually insane. I, I actually I want to call it the best fireball in the game, especially because like you it poisons. That's like insanely good too. So once you get hit, you have to like you feel like you're forced to come in, even if it's like not that much damage. Yeah, that's the issue. No anti, no anti DP. So like characters with dive kicks or characters like Cami is gonna. I can see Cami giving uh, Aki a really hard time. That's a sick combo. Hold up. Got that. Yeah. So you get a jab link after that. Yep. That was a cool combo. Level one. Level one is invul. It's a little slow. So I think uh, some characters have like meaty jab setups that can probably beat the level one. Very so very similar to Kimberly. Uh, yeah, her, she can get pretty good damage off her anti too, especially if you get a punish counter. Uh, you just do crazy damage. I don't know the combos yet. I mean, obviously, Goichi still learned the combos, too. Uh, that heavy kick punish counter obviously go into the H stabby move. Well, that's a sick combo, too. Yeah, that's a move we didn't really talk about, that whip move. It's pretty good if they're poisoned because they get knocked back, but I think the EX whip is actually really, really strong. Ah, uh, yeah, he got he got the uh, drive rush there. That fireball is so good. <laughs> All right, so I think very highly of this move right here, which is EX Whip. So this move is safe from when you do it from full screen, right? They can obviously jump it, but it's a pretty risk-free way to check a fireball, right? So let's say they're they're throwing fireballs and you get the read on a fireball timing, you get pretty good damage unlike other anti-fireball moves like ex teleport like you don't really have to commit for this you just kind of do it and if they block you're you're safe the other thing about our antires is they are pretty good right this 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 has like insane reach if anything can beat luke's stay, jump heavy punch it's really good and the fact that you get a punish counter here sometimes is like insanely good it's pretty inconsistent of course but you can like react to it when you get the punish counter also this range is like really really strong too and you also have this move which is like probably like your good anti-dive kick move and you i think you get yeah you probably get a combo after this as well oh no it looks like you don't all right so aki has been billed as the jp killer <laughs> i don't know if that's true or not I, I think that's a little cap i think jp is just very very strong uh but let's kind of see what what Goichi's cooking against this character in this matchup yeah aki has quite good jump ins oh that's so nice that's safe i like that as a uh, jumping confirm too right so like if you lose your confirm then like oh well you're safe right now, a lot of characters don't have that privilege but yeah, Aki does have some good anti-zoning tools, right? Yeah, you can just go behind the fireball. That's so nice. Yeah, that's a safe jump, by the way. Oh, that fireball is so good. 
Oh, good confirm on the shimmy. Wow. You, you kill here? Goichi? You got these? Sheesh. All right. Wow. Goichi already got the day one combos down. That, that looked really good. Good jab interrupt. Yeah, that's the overhead right there. And yeah, when you get the poison explosion, you can get a drive rush. Oh, he did that for a throw bait. That's so smart. This only works on punish counter. Yeah, I don't think that combo works there. All right, so how's Goichi bring this back? Nice block on that overhead. Goichi got those anime blocks. Are you dead? Oh, one, one mix up for death. Oh my God, that fireball's so good. <laughs> the w the weak one killer. Yeah, if you're trying to win with Aki, just spam that move. So you might be wondering, what are this character's weaknesses? I think this character has a few. Um, one being your medium pokes are just not that good. Compare this like move to Kimberly's stand medium kick goes about the same range, same similar frame that it's actually a frame slower, but it's not special cancelable. Yeah, not the biggest fan of that move. Uh, same thing of a crouch medium kick, it's not cancelable. So your best drive rush buffer is this crouch medium punch, but it's pretty slow at eight frames, right? So it's pretty easy to get, I think, out poked with this character, especially when you got characters like Luke trying to rush you down with this crouch medium punch so just generally yeah your, your medium pokes don't feel very strong this reversal is okay but feels a little gimmicky because like if they just shimmy they might be able to just like react to the flash all right so let's see yeah you definitely react if you're like this like spaced out right and you might be able to just like catch the recovery as well i'm not i'm not entirely sure about this Oh, look, no, you can't. That's good. And there's probably like, I wonder if there's like a way to option select this, like where you can do this and then, yeah, if that whiffs, you get a grab. Yeah, so the reversal is not the best. And the third thing is, I don't think she has the best way to stop drive rush. The only thing that seems like decent for stopping drive rush is this crouch medium punch. But think of like, you know, Cami has, can do the same thing, but it's way, it, Cami's is faster, right? So that, that seems like your best option, but it's a little slow. So your reactions have to be really on point. It probably loses the drive rush crouch jab too. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about the video down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about Aki. Can you truly fix her? I'm going to try. So we'll be doing our master's run later today. It should only take me, you know, like six hours. Just got to get the time to, to do it. Yes, yeah, so I'll post the master's run up on YouTube. So subscribe if you want to see that. I, I'm, I'm trying to make like an educational master's run. So uh, that'll be pretty interesting. And like, share, and subscribe if you want to support this kind of content. Peace out, guys.